Hi, my name is Lisa from Serenia Blue. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do a flip through of my latest journal and this journal features a kit, the monthly kit for March from Uni from Willowbound Journals and you can get this kit by being a patron and there's uh, informate, um, I'll link the information uh, for this below. So what I've got is a manila folder is my cover and I've used a page from Daphne's diary because I really love the poppies. And this started out as a poppy journal and I'd been keeping a whole lot of poppy ephemera. And as you go through this journal, you'll see a couple of poppy images pop up here and there, sorry. And you'll also see um, the March kit um, featuring Uni's work. So here's the front cover and this is from the kit, this piece here, and this piece is cut out as well from the kit. Um, so for uni, they're quite significant and I thought that it looked really beautiful on the cover to go with um, the botanicals and the poppies and the butterflies. So here we've got a little bit, um, a few poppies and other wildflower images. And this one is from the kit and it's a passport page and it's blown up to be um, a half A4 size, a full A4 size and folded in half. This page is from Daphne's diary. So I tried to keep again with the red flowers throughout with a hint of blue was kind of the idea. 10 words to describe my family culture. That's part of the kit for the month. And this is one of Uni's um, pages from her digital kit. And that's one of the collage pages. A book page featuring camellias and some tea dyed paper that I did myself. This is one of Uni's linens and I added in a page about March because that's um, the month that the kit represents and that's uh, Eden, an Edith Holden page. Now, this page is from an art book and it's a how to paint art book and I thought that these poppies or these flowers were quite beautiful. This was from some Happy Mail from Claire and Poppy Colouring in Page. Both of these are from Willowbound. This is from the March kit, and this is one of the linens, uh, from one of the linen packs. Cute little strawberries there. And again, another page from the kit, one of the passport pages just some poppy pages and a postcard that I'd collected. And the March journal prompts. Week one is the story of your birth. Week two is the story of your name. Week three is your ancestry and week four is your family. So that just tucks in nicely there. One of Uni's linens, one of her collage pages. This is from the March kit and just a piece of ephemera that I thought the blues matched quite nicely together. Again, some more ephemera, sorry, another page from the, the March kit, and the center is an Edith Holden poppy page that I'd put aside. And then the same in reverse. This is a, um, a little envelope decoration that I made with some stitching and an image embellished on there. This is one of my pieces of artwork that I thought would match nicely. So that's just tucked in there and it just says, um, thankful for my life. Some of Uni's work again, collage page on the other side of the linen and some of um, these are rent receipts and I put them onto um, 
some book paper and then uh, just to give it a little bit of stability and then ink the edges and added that to the pocket. This is also part of the kit. I printed that out and added it to the page, a little bit of a tuck spot. And then this is um, an embellishment I made myself with some scraps from the inside cover here and added like a little tag, a stamp and a punched heart. Again from the kit, some more poppies, the vase that was the base of those flowers, some writing space, the other part of that March page from Edith Holden that's just tucked in here. And then the other side of the camellia page and I added here just an embellishment that matches the inside cover and more of uni's uh, collage kit. And finishing off with another one of the March pages. There you go, that's the back cover. I hope you really liked this flip through. Please leave a comment below and I appreciate your support. Bye bye.